So the first big project that I worked on with Living Materials was the Hylozoic Ground Project, which is an installation by Philip Beasley, and it debuted really at the 2010 Venice Architecture Biennale. One of the key chemistries to the Hylozoic Ground installation was the creation of the protopearls. Protopearls could be thought of a particular species of protocell. And what I mean by protocell is a group of chemistries that have a very, very simple metabolism that allows them to perform as if they were alive. Protopearls were positioned in the Hylozoic ground installation in, in vials, and these were droplets of alkali that were suspended in oil and had Venice water in them so that they were taking the minerals from the Venetian Canal and literally turning them into sculptures within those little tiny biospheres. So the next project that I worked on was to think about, well, what happens if this technology was contextualised within the city itself? The Future Venice project was an investigation of how the protopole system could literally be realised within the lagoon environment um, of Venice. The future of Venice really rests on its relationship with the tides that literally digest away the fabric of the city. So the idea was to create a protocell that could move away from the light so that it meant that it would be targeted towards the foundations of the city which stand on wood piles. The photophobic uh, metabolism for the, the protocells essentially really works by light breaking chemical bonds and the energy released in that breaking process um, fuels the movement of the droplet and propels the body forward. And the idea was then that these um, protopoles would move into the foundations and when they were there a second metabolism would kick in. And so um, gradually the mineral shells would accrete and form a, a giant artificial limestone-like reef underneath the city. This would spread the point load of the city over a much broader base than they currently stand on. The protocell version of Future Venice was really about a, a different way that we could use technology. One, I guess, that conferred inert materials with some of the properties of living things so it could engage itself in a struggle for survival against you know, the, the destructive impacts of the elements in which it was situated. These are, are prototype tests, these are, these are not a formal um, technology, it's not finalised, but we could see something within 10 to 20 years if this is what the city of Venice actually wants.